Hey, what's up guys? Iman here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you can see, I am back in the Amazon parking lot in Naperville. And it's been a while since I've tested out the auto park feature. And with the most recent updates on summons and things like that, I'm gonna go ahead and test it out and see if there's any difference in how well it works. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, let's go ahead and see how well this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in up to a parking spot and uh, let it do its thing and see what we can pick up and navigate through. So as you can see, it's selecting the parking spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and auto park, it says scroll on select. So which park do we want? I'm gonna go with uh, that one, press the wheel, and uh, there's that guy right there, so I'm curious to see how well this is gonna do. Also, it's gonna park next to the other spot. All right. There we have it. That was the first test and that was actually really fast. That was uh, impressive. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the next spot and uh, see if we can pick one out in between cars. Maybe, let's see. Let's use a scroll wheel and uh, I'm gonna select that one. No, hold on. I didn't select it, sorry, because I forgot to scroll up or down. So let's pick this one. Absolutely no problem at all. Went right in. Done. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna try to select one that's further away. As you can see, you can pick which spot you want. So I'm going to pick one that's not immediately near where I am. So let me go ahead and go into another area here. So let's see which one it picks up. Here's the screen, you can see all the cars that it's picking up. Now, this one will be a little bit more challenging, I think, because you can see that car is right on the line. It did pick that spot. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Auto steer temporarily unavailable. So right now it's not picking it up. Even though it's picking it up there, it's not letting me select that spot. Oh, that lady just came back, so that's probably not going to work. Alright, so let's keep going. Let's see if you can select that spot next to the Model 3, if it'll pick that up. It did, right there. I went and selected it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And so it should park between these two cars. And that was a complete success, auto park complete. So yeah, that worked out really well. And I feel like it's so much smoother than what it was before and quicker as far as actually the car moving itself and things like that. So 
that's very impressive. So I would say that's three for three. Um, let me do one more on the opposite side and then we'll go ahead and do some tests with like parallel parking like I've done in my previous videos. So let me go ahead and pull out of here. And what I mean by opposite side is um, I am obviously on the right hand side so these spots here I'm gonna go ahead and select so that way let's do let's do this one actually we'll do the one next to that car we've got people walking around let's see how well this picks up so it's gonna wait for the pedestrian to walk by good did a great job figuring out how to get into that spot with the cars being very close here it's still maneuvering perfectly fine oh that was close but it did fine did not hit it obviously absolutely no problem at all take a look at that done all right, let's go see if you can uh, try out the parallel parking now. All right, here we are back at Naperville Crossing where I've done previous tests. So let's go ahead and see if you can uh, find a spot where you can parallel park and test this out. This line is for Starbucks, by the way. Yes, it's morning and uh, people want to get uh, their coffee. So we've got uh, this spot coming up on the right-hand side in front of this car. Let's see if this picks it up. It does, so I'm going to go ahead and select it and uh, see how well it does. It's lining itself up. and perfectly done that was very impressive all right let's go ahead and uh, pick out a different spot now and see if you can uh, test this out again swing back around but right now nothing on this side so let's go ahead and drive forward and we'll come back I was hoping we can get a spot in between cars but it looks like that might not be an option right now because these spots are all full. So let's turn around from here. Go ahead. All right, thank you. As you can see, these spots are all taken, so we won't be able to try anything here. But let's go see if we can get to that one open spot that we passed by, and if it's still open, we can try there. In front 
remove that white car. Let's see. That might be a tight spot, but we'll try it. Actually, no, it's pretty normal. There you go. It sees it. I'm going to go ahead and select it. I keep pressing the button instead of scrolling. So, let's see what it does. So as you can see, it's pulling forward, so it can parallel park with enough space, so it lined itself up, and uh, it's doing its thing. If you recall from the older up, older software, you would have to pass the actual parking spot and then it would select it, but now as you can see, you can select it before you even pass it because it recognizes it, you select it, and then it just goes ahead and, and parks the car for you. So I would say both of those tests were a great success and um, the normal parking was also a success. So I would say it's a huge update or a huge improvement from the previous versions Again, I'm not sure if the latest updates had anything to do with the way it, uh, it it parked itself because it was a summon and some other updates. But in my opinion, from the last time I tested it, this did much better. So there might have been something where it tweaked the software um, and it's working better now. A lot smoother, a lot faster, a lot more confident. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.